her testimony. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, the idea to talk in front of you actually came just this morning uh, when Miss Cleany came to our room and told me to deliver a testimony, and she doesn't even give me a choice to say no. <laughs> As a participant born and raised in Visayas, the concept of peace and conflict are actually totally different. Like my perspective towards these concepts are actually totally different. And when a friend forwarded me about MPI, Mindanao Peace Building Institute. So my first impression was, this is not for me. This is not for me, like I am, yes, I am studying migrant IPs, I am studying about the policies involving them, etc. But this is not for me. I'm not studying in Mindanao, I don't live in Mindanao, and when it comes to conflict, I always associate it to Mindanao. Nevertheless, I took my time to read the descriptions, <laughs> to check the courses, and I saw UGIP, Understanding Grassroots Environmental Peace. And with that, a lot of things suddenly came out of my mind. Like, I came from BSU, and BSU was declared as a dark green university. And there are a lot of scientists there and scholars. And there are only so little of us studying people, social scientists. And all these scholars are actually working separately, right? So we are not collaborating, we are not working together for a common cause. And then another thing that came out of my mind, um, I am actually advising undergraduate thesis of environmental management students. Oh, so this is something environment, and I'm not studying about environment. I am an anthropologist, so this is another thing. And another thing that came out from my mind, um, the policies, the environmental policies that is actually directly affecting the migrant IPs that I am studying. So a lot of reasons actually goes on and on. And I realize oh, I have a lot of reasons to apply. <laughs> and I, I have a lot of reasons to go. And so I applied despite having another conference supposedly in Manila this week to present also my paper, but I chose to be here because this is actually totally different, something new. Like the concept of environmental peace is, to be honest with you, it's really strange for me. It's really new for me. I know a bit about environment and I know about people, culture, and development. But putting the concept of peace in between these two are totally new. So I came here with a very limited, almost nothing. <laughs> but then, um, I'm so thankful to my teachers, Dr. Ned and Dr. Piki. I actually I actually cannot thank them enough. Like, I came here with all these things inside my head, the concepts that I've been, um, like, I, I, I am trapped in a cave. If you're studying philosophy, perhaps you know what I'm trying to say. I am in a cave, I am a slave of my own cave. But then when I came here, I gained a lot of knowledge thanks to my very competent and amazing teachers. <laughs> they came from different NGOs, different government agencies and academ. Their work, their experiences, their um, insights, their personal insights really add to all the things I learned. And I really gain a lot of knowledge from in just five days. That's why I am asking Fred early this afternoon, do you have an advanced course for this? <laughs> This is not enough, and I want to learn more. So, yeah, actually, actually that is the highlight of this talk. Um, I, I, I badly wanted to emphasize that I really learned a lot, and I'm so thankful for MPI for giving me this chance. And also, MPI is just an impressive event. Um, and lastly, the food. I love the food. <laughs> 
I don't eat pork. I'm not a Muslim, but I don't eat pork. And the food here is really safe for me. So thank you so much. Um, thank you.